Hi, I wanted to do this video because I wanted to show people how I make my beads <clears throat> using the um, ashes of people who, loved ones who have departed from us um, because I felt it was important that people knew how much respect I gave to the ashes, how I handled them and how I'm very careful not to be cross-contaminating. So um, my workstation is like so, I hope you can see that. That one there is the ashes. I've just put that in a, that is actually quite a lot because I'm using um, my pet's ashes, Snowy's ashes, my own ashes from, from my old pet um, to show you. So I'm not offending anybody. Um, but as you can see, I put it into a glass bowl like such and I keep them in the glass bowl until such time as I need them and then we have I'm going to do a small black one because that way black is a colour you can see easily I hope so we've got a black glass rod and a clear black rod and then the other tool that I need to use obviously is one of these things which is um, to make the bead with now I'm going to put my heating on my torch which is this area here and it will make a noise. The other thing to show you as well is my sage. I've cleansed the area with sage to get rid of any bad spirits so that I know that the area is pure and it's clean um, and that obviously there is nothing that is gonna contaminate the person's ashes. So I'm gonna put my heating on. Now this does make a noise, so I might have to shout above it, um, but I will try to do it for you.
not damaged or burned or anything like that. And now once this is covered, I'll show you quickly in a minute, once this is covered, and I'm sure that all the ashes are covered with the clear, it will look like that, which looks a bit of a mess, but you can see the ashes are quite clearly in there. And then what I do is I melt, and you're actually melting the glass, you're not melting the ashes. And by doing this, it seals the ashes into the bead. And you have to make these obviously as big or as small as you want. But any smaller than this, I think you will be hard pushed because of the nature of what I do. You hold it at the top, such like this. You can see it's melting. It's getting softer. The ashes are well and truly in it, look. 